What's special about the race of remembrance to me? I think the whole weekend, the whole race is phenomenal. I think it's a great cause. Uh, I don't think the cause is as recognised as it should be anymore. Uh, and obviously this year in particular it's a centenary of the end of the Great War so that makes it particularly special. It's a great bunch of people and uh, a great event. What's very special for me about the Race of Remembrance is, is a number of things really. It's a, it's a charitable course I've been involved with as a benefactor for the last four years really, giving rides on various circuits to injured soldiers. Um, and it's a, I think it's a marvellous course. My background being motorsport for the last 42 years, it's something that I can do and enjoy as well as doing, doing a good cause. It's such a worthy cause. I then watched a few of the videos online and you know, to, see, to see what these guys have been through, the injuries, mental, physical, uh, for me, I just, it was compelling. I just, I just wanted to do it. It's just a, an event that gets all the lads together uh, for two reasons, really. One, there's a bit of a blow off throughout the year. Uh, well, amalgamation of everything throughout the year and we all get together to have a big blow off. And two, uh, just as a remembrance thing, we're all together, we're all in the same boat. Well, the majority of us are all uh, here because of injuries uh, and certainly the people that help are largely involved. Um, but yeah, we all get together, we remember and we all have a big blow off. That's the main thing about the show. Was the biggest challenge getting the car ready well w one of the team drivers blew the car up eight weeks ago when we were here so for the last the last seven weeks we've not seen the car and not had a chance to drive the damn thing so the biggest challenge is actually to get in it today and drive the damn car for the first time really is actually getting the car ready we've had a lot of issues uh, with the car we've had to change the engine we've had a number of issues with it so all the issues have been on the technical side of it but we're here that's the main thing so we're still all smiling. Being introduced to this, uh, a team that I'd never known really uh, hadn't spoke to them beforehand uh, but luckily um, since I was introduced to them uh, it's been a bit of a whirlwind uh, taking the mick out of me quite a lot which is quite good. One of the main things I know is that the money literally goes to the lads. Anything they, well, pretty much anything they want to do, kit, events, it goes to them. Mission is so modest uh, with what they do. I mean, they're literally in porter cabins, working out porter cabins. So it just shows that the money they do raise just goes straight out to the lads, uh, just to, to get the smiles on their faces, our faces. I think it's all part of the bigger picture of supporting uh, soldiers that have come back from conflict uh, and actually probably are not as well supported as they should be. And there's been so phenomenal, so many phenomenal good causes around this weekend, uh, wherever you look. So it's a great cause. You know, I, I think we owe it them really. You know, people are willing to go and, uh, you know, for whatever reason, they don't choose which conflict to go to, they just go. And, you know, we have a bad day at work and we come home, we've made no money. They have a bad day and they come home with life-changing injuries. So. You know, for me, what little bit I can do, I'll do. All the money raised by the various, the benefactors that have helped us out with, with buying space on the car uh, to, to promote their companies, collect it into an account and, and producing the cheque at the, the, the Heroes Dinner tonight. So it goes straight to the Mission Motorsport Charity.
do I prepare for a 12-hour endurance race? Uh, I don't know. I've never done one before. Uh, ask me again in 12 hours. Um, biggest challenge is being able to see because my eyesight is not particularly great. Being 60 last week, um, my eyesight in the dark is not, is not brilliant. So that's going to be my biggest challenge is actually to focus on anything. Uh, testing, um, we had a really good test. So, you know, we had a tough time on the on the dry on the on the in the dry ties in sort of semi wet conditions, but when it got really wet, you know the car's right on the money, and I think you know um, we should do pretty well. If it's raining, we're we're going to be good. This year, we have brought more beneficiaries in a wider range of roles from a greater number of countries in order to be part of, of this event, which is really celebrating the end of our sporting year. It is absolutely phenomenal to see so many people who've come such a long way in such a huge variety of different kinds of cars in order to be alongside each other on the grid. They've moved heaven and earth in order to be able to get themselves here and their beneficiaries here from a long way.